the motivation for me, that is to be the best that is, the best that was, and the best that ever will be. To make my family proud, you know what I mean? My mum and dad, and my nan and grandma, and my granddad, and my family, and my, my missus, you know what I mean? I want to look after my family, lad. I want to have the money to look after my whole family, not just my close family, you know what I mean? That's, that's the motivation, lad. I say now because I do believe it, it was never a question of if the UFC had signed me, it was when, you know what I mean? But as you say, when you're in the darkest points of your career, or the darkest points of your life, you know what I mean? You think, what? They've offered me twice and I've said no twice and now what am I doing? Now I'm depressed, sitting in my room, crying all day. Like, what are you doing, lad? Why didn't you take that offer? You know what I mean? I did sit there and think that every now and then, but You've got to have the self-belief to sit there and think, yeah, I know I'm going to get signed anyway, so there's no point in worrying about it, and that's what I did. I just didn't worry about stuff that I couldn't control, you know what I mean? Because once you've already said no to the offer, you can't control it, you know what I mean? It's gone, and you've just got to wait for the third time to charm, and I knew it would come. To be honest, the last couple of years, like, I've had the, the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Like, obviously, I won my last fight, I've been signed to the UFC and stuff, but then before that, the fight that fell through because he couldn't make weight. My fight before that, lad, I lost, you know what I mean, against Bach. Uh, so I've had the lowest of lows and the highest of highs. I killed myself to make weight in several fights, and it, it showed in my performance, you know what I mean, even the one before and that, where I just about won on decision. Um, like, you could tell I was an acting professional, so I needed a wake-up call, and it was a loss. A loss gave me a wake-up call. I just reset everything back again. I had to go back to the start again, and um, ever since the start of like 2019, um, I've been in this this sport wholeheartedly. <laughs> That's the main thing, lad. Not not letting anything distract you, not letting anything sway your focus. Like I've had, I, we've all every MMA fight has had bad luck in the career, you know what I mean? But I'd, this game's full of setbacks, lad. You've just got to keep pushing and, and pushing. And I always say, if you if you feel like quitting in this sport, you're in the wrong game. The way everything's unfolded, lad. In hindsight, I'm glad everything's happened the way it has. It's not going to phase me having my debut. Where if I am fighting someone else and it's their debut, it's gonna their heads gonna fall off, gonna shit themselves coming out of the crowd. I'm used to it, lad. I've walked out in front of a full echo arena without the UFC name attached to it, with just off my own back. I've I've sold that out and had that full. So. It's, yeah, it's not going to phase me walking out in front of a UFC crowd, lad. It's just, it's just not. I'll be honest, I think in the next five years I'm going to be a global superstar. Like, I won't be able to walk down the road without people shouting me. You know what I mean? Like, that is what I expect to happen. You know what I mean? I'm going to be a multi-millionaire. I'm going to have crazy amounts of fans. Even if I haven't got the belt by then in five years, you know what I mean? Even though I think I will have. Like, even if I haven't got it by then, I'll still be a multi-millionaire with millions of fans who want to watch me fight every single time.